taken every crazy adventure that comes my way to the great despair of my wife. <laughs> However, back then, fresh after my accident, while still lying in my bed, completely paralyzed, unable to move but my, but my arms, confused and, and, in, and in terrible pain, I did not know what to do or what to think. And I honestly thought that technology was the only thing that could help me. I did not know what was truly important yet. And then an incredible thing happened. Amidst the chaos and the confusion and the pain, one simple but magical thing happened. I smiled. And as I smiled, Sylvia smiled as well. And people around me smiled and we laughed and we acted normal. And we spoke about the future. You see, just because I was positive, the only thing that was different is that I had a positive attitude. The only thing that was different is that I had chosen early on that I was not going to let myself be demoralized, that I was not going to dwell into victimhood, and I was not going to feel sorry for myself. And people felt it. And as people felt it, they stopped looking at the wheelchair. They stopped seeing me as a sick, handicapped person. They saw me as Chris, as me. And that made a whole difference. I was being treated like a human again, with dignity, and I loved it. You see, that's the power of a positive attitude. That, that is the power of the, the, the contagious, the, the, the contagious power of humor and positivity. That's also when I decided that I, I couldn't, I wasn't going to let my accident define me. It, what I wanted is what I did afterwards. I wanted my, my attitude, I wanted my actions to define who I really was. So I rushed out of rehab and went straight on to work. And that was rewarding. Sylvia encouraged me, oh, for, for you guys, that's forced me in marriage lingo. <laughs> Sylvia encouraged me to go full on back into social life and that was empowering. My friends introduced me to all kinds of new sports and, uh, sports and dragged me along on their bike rides and their runs and their swims. And before I knew it, I was signing in to every single run and, and marathon that there was available. I was joining on long bike rides and doing triathlons, and that was invigorating. Sorry. Um, and, and it's by doing everything, by doing all this, by, by being in the middle of it, that I realized that this was for me what made a big difference. For me, that was my cure. For me, that was better than any technology. That was, that was for me my, my walking moment. I, I had a family, I have a wife, I have two children, I have friends. I wanted, I wanted to take responsibility for my life. I wanted to accept this change, not as something difficult, but as an opportunity to push beyond all limits. And what I especially wanted to do, I wanted to make sure that I continue to live a fulfilling life in spite of 
all the inconveniences of my paralysis. I wanted to continue dreaming big, and I, I wanted to, con to enjoy the ride, even, even when it wasn't the one that I had initially envisioned. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's not always easy. My life, my life is not without very lonely, painful, frustrating, and dark hours. And just, just the other day, when I was feeling down, when I felt that things were so bad that I, I just didn't want to fight anymore, I started listening to all those little lies in my head. The ones that said that I'm not good enough, the ones that said that I will never get better, that I will never be strong enough. The ones that say that I'm a drain on my family and that I don't add any value. That night, that night I said to Sylvia that I felt that that her life would be easier without me. She paused and looked at me and, and she said, it would be easier, but it wouldn't be better. I remind myself of this every time I feel that a life is unfair or unjust, that I just don't have the, the energy or or the willpower to face the day or get out of bed. You see, I remind myself that I'm strong, but that my strength doesn't only come from inside of me. It also comes from the loving, from the inspiring people that I choose to surround myself with. I'm conscious that my positive energy is not only fueled by my thoughts, but my positive energy is fueled by my actions. And I have to work hard, and I have to work even harder, and I'll never have to stop working hard, even when you know that there is no immediate reward. Technologies such as the exoskeleton and Epidural stimulation will one day facilitate my movement. But I will not, and I cannot wait for them all my life. My cure comes from within. And, and whatever comes in my path, I can let it beat me or I can deal with it. I've made my choice. I'll, I'll deal with it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think there's just some stories that better go, uh, yeah, just leave me speechless as well. I was sitting there, I was like, what am I going to say? What am I going to say after Chris? And I don't think there's much to say. Um, I think it's a fantastic story. I want to thank you so much for sharing it today. And um, I would like to take this opportunity as well to welcome our chairman, Kurt, to the stage. Who <laughs> Well, thank you everyone, first of all, for being here today. I honestly have to admit, I just realized I kept on lying the whole day to everyone entering the stage. I told them there's nothing to be scared about, the whole audience is nice. Once you're standing here, you look a lot more scary than when observing you behind a screen or just somewhere from the back. So um, thank you really all for being here tonight. Um, I truly believe the event today was a success, and after eight months, I think we're all standing here with mixed emotions. So, on the one hand, we're tremendously proud for what we presented today. 
on the other hand, it's kind of over now what we've done within the last month. So we all got to find something new to do in our free time, I assume. <laughs> Um, besides that, I think what we really realized throughout the last month, this all would not have been possible without the help of a lot of people that were supporting us throughout the journey.